guys. Happy holidays and welcome back to Morning Coffee, a place where we talk all things productivity, organization, goal getting, and personal growth. Today we are talking about the difference between goals and resolutions because who doesn't want to start out 2020 with a new set of goals and resolutions to go after? I feel like when it comes to goals and resolutions, we kind of use them interchangeably and we kind of, you know, refer to them as the same things, but there is a difference. And so I'm going to be telling you all about that today and also why it matters. Never fear. I totally looked up like the actual definition of this so that I have some sources for you, some real information. Webster's Dictionary defines a goal as the end towards which effort is directed. So the goal is the end, it's the result, it's the final sort of tangible thing that you have that you can literally check a box on and say that I did it. So an example of a goal would be like, I will run a 4K in April. It's specific, it tells you exactly what you need to do to achieve it, and it also provides somewhat of a deadline towards actually getting it done. There is a clear and defined way to decide whether or not you are successful. I'm gonna lose 50 pounds by December. I'm going to save $6,000 by December. I am going to redo our living room in March. These are all ideas and specific examples of goals. I'm sure that many of you have heard of the SMART goals, S-M-A-R-T, that goals should be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. I think that's right. If that's not right, I'll actually put it up on the screen here. Um, and so that's kind of one way that can help you decide whether something you want is a goal or is a resolution is if it kind of encompasses all of those components. So then when we go to resolutions, here's what the Oxford Dictionary says about the word resolve. It means to decide firmly on a course of action or a firm determination to do something. So a resolution is more of a statement of purpose. So for example, you could say, I wanna step up my skincare game in 2020. It's something that you want to do, but it doesn't give you sort of specific action or a specific deadline. It's more of something that's going to constantly be in the progress of getting done. So um, one of my favorite authors, Rachel Hollis, talks about how dreams don't really have deadlines, that you shouldn't set yourself up to fail for a lifelong dream just because you don't accomplish it within a specific time frame. When she's talking about those things, she's really talking about resolutions, things that you resolve to be or to do, but are never actually really going to be done. So for example, saying something along the lines of, I'm an exceptional mother. That is a resolution. That is, just, it's something you're never actually going to be done with. There isn't going to be any period of time where you feel like you can check that box and be like, I'm an exceptional mother, done. I don't have to work on that anymore. I'm good. So a resolution is really just sort of a, a, a continuing action that you're promising to remind yourself of and to continue to do. So for example, um, last year I worked on um, having more fun with my wardrobe and my style. I started a new job that now gives me the flexibility to dress in a completely different way than I had been in the past. A little bit more creative, a little more modern, a little bit more hip and trendy. And so it was really important to me to kind of curate a wardrobe that fits that lifestyle because um, I'm in sales and so a lot of what I do does have to do with this and what it looks like in front of clients. So I resolved to explore my personal style in 2019. That's an example of a resolution. The point that I'd really like to make here is that it doesn't matter whether you pick goals or resolutions. In all honesty, you should probably have both. I just kind of wanted to help you kind of think about each of these strategies and which one might work best for you. One of my favorite things about personal growth and setting goals and accomplishing things is that it's a personal 
preference. It is a personal project. It is something that you work on specifically related to your life, your priorities, your goals, and your timelines. Don't let the resolutions or the goals or the things that other people are setting either on the internet or in your life impact what you want to do in 2020. It's really about looking at your own life through your own lens, kind of breaking it down into smaller pieces and saying, what do I really want to do? Who do I really want to be? What do I want my 2020 to look like? After you've set all those awesome goals and resolutions for 2020, I have the perfect video series for you coming in January. I have an eight part 2020 resolution series that is going to focus on eight areas where people commonly um, set goals or set resolutions like money, health, fitness, um, organization, all of those things. Each video is gonna break down resources, books, podcasts, tips, tricks, and hacks to actually achieve goals or resolutions in that area of your life. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss a single 2020 resolutions video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your 2019. Bring on that new decade, right?